welcome back everyone in this video i will discuss how to save the employee details in appwrite we will move to the appwrite provider file in provider folder here first of all i will create the instance of storage now while creating the employee details we need to upload the profile image as well to deal with any file upload we need to use this storage class provided by appwrite and i will create the instance of databases to save the details of the employee in appwrite we need to use this database instance with the help of this database instance we can save the collection to appwrite after that here i will create the instance so storage equals to storage and it will take client similarly databases equals to databases and it will take client after that here i will create a function to upload the employee image so i am creating a function upload employee image what it will take it will take a variable named as image path and with which name the file will be uploaded for that i am creating a variable named as file name and here i am using dollar of date time dot now dot millisecond since approach and here i will use dollar of i will find out the extension of the uploaded image so here i am writing image path dot split i will split with dot dot last okay and after that semicolon so this is nothing but the file name with which the file will be uploaded to app right after that here i am declaring a variable final of response equals to storage dot it contains a method which is called as create file this is used to upload the file to uh, app right now it takes bucket id now if you remember in app right constant here i have created all this bucket id collection id so we will use that bucket id from this particular file now let me go to app right provider and in bucket id i will use app right constant dot employee bucket id similarly it will take the file id also so here i am using id dot unique it will generate a unique file id and in file here i will use input file in input file here we need to specify path and the path will be image path and in file name i will pass the file name variable which i have created and after that i will return a response now this create file is returning future of file so the return type of this will be future of file so here i am using future of models dot file okay so this function will upload the employee image here i am creating one more function to delete the employee image let me copy this paste it here now the function name i am changing to delete employee image and it will take file id which which file id i i need to delete that particular file id i need to pass there is no need of this file name and instead of create file here i will use delete file method which is provided by storage and its return type is future of dynamic so here i will change it to dynamic and this delete file will take only bucket id and file id there is no need of this file so i am re 
removing this okay so i have created a function to upload the image to delete the image now here i need to create one more function to save the employee details to database to do that here i am creating a function create employee and this function will take map this map will actually contain the employee details like name department all those informations will be stored in this map correct and let me declare this method as async now final equals to now i need to use databases it contains a method which is called as create document and it will take these parameters let me put a semicolon over here now database id i will use the database id from apparate constant collection id this also i will use apparate dot employee collection id document id this document id needs to be unique so i am calling id dot unique and in data i need to pass the data which i want to store to apparate so this will be a object or this will be a map and uh, here i need to pass name because with these properties i have created the attribute in app right so it will be map of name let me copy this paste now here i will pass department I need to copy this it will be created by let me copy and paste it here here i need to pass image map of image and created at let me copy this paste it and after that what i need to do i need to return the response so return response now this create document method is returning future of document so the return type of this method will be future of document so future of models dot document correct now i will copy this method and now i need to move to auth repository which i have created and let me paste it here this method i need to let me close this and here i will use this delete employee image method as well let me copy this and paste it here and i will copy this one okay now here i will use apparate provider dot upload why it is not coming let me copy from here in this okay fine upload image and to this i will pass image path okay now similarly let me copy this paste it here paste it here and for this one i need to change the method name to delete and the parameter will be file id and it will be create employee and here i need to pass the map okay now i need to move to create employee controller and here i need to write the code now first of all let me show you create employee binding as you can see in create employee binding this create employee controller is taking auth repository which is taking app right provider and in create employee controller i have created the instance of auth repository which i have passed to the constructor of create employee controller okay and 
I need to write the code to save the employee details and that code I will write in validate and save method. So if the form is valid, this means this else portion is executing and here I need to write the code to save the employee details. Okay. So first of all, I will check if image path dot is not empty means the user has selected the image. If the user has selected the image, it's well and good. And in and if the user has not selected the image, then here I need to display a message. So I will copy this, paste it here, and here I will give a message. Please select image. Okay. Now inside this if let me go to login controller and I will copy this try and catch and I will paste that code here. Now if the image is selected by the user then this if block will execute and it will save the details to app right. And so here I need to display the dialog and in auth repository first of all I will upload the image to do that here I will call upload image method now what it is taking it is taking the image path so here I will pass the image path dot value and if it is success let me remove these things this is not required now here if it is success let me remove this cancel dialog as well so if the image is uploaded successfully then again i will call await auth sorry await auth repository dot create employee and here I need to pass the map and let me copy this paste it here and I will copy this catch and I will paste it here okay and since it is a wait, I need to declare the function as async. So I need to add async modifier, correct? So if the image is uploaded successfully, then I will call this create employee method. And here I need to write the code. But before writing the code, here I need to pass the map object, correct? So here I am passing name, name. I need to pass department department after that it will be created by created by and in created by I will use get storage dot read here I need to pass the user ID correct so the key was user id and here i need to pass the image in image here i need to pass the id of the uploaded image to get the id of the uploaded image here i will declare a variable string uploaded file id okay and when the image is uploaded successfully then here I will use uploaded file ID equals to value dot dollar of ID. It will give us the ID of the uploaded file and in image I will pass that uploaded file ID. Okay. And here I need to use created at in created at I will pass the current date and to do that here I will use date time dot now dot to ISO string okay and if the details has been saved successfully then here I need to use this full screen dialog loader dot cancel dialog it will cancel the dialog 
and after that here I will give a message let me copy this paste it here and here I will give a message success and instead of so error snack bar here I will use so success snack bar and here I will give the message data saved now let me do a hot restart here I need to do one more thing suppose the image has been uploaded successfully but while entering or while saving the details of the employee there is something went wrong at that time the image which we have uploaded that should be deleted as well so that code I will write here in this catch error here I will call auth repository dot delete employee image and I will pass the uploaded file ID okay and it will be await and since it is await I need to declare the function as async so add async modifier fine now let me do a hot restart now let me show you the output if I click here now I am giving the employee details as let me give the name as Sachin department as sports and from here I will select the image and after that click on create employee success data saved now let me go to app right so here let me open it now demo database database ripples code employees and here you can see the details has been saved document ID name department created by image and created at if I move to storage then you can see that the image has also been uploaded and here is a problem here the dot is missing in the file name the dot is missing so while giving the image name I have made something wrong I made a mistake let me check okay here the dot is missing okay this is how we can save the employee details to upright thank you so much for watching